so welcome to part two of the f magnetism uh, and today i want us to look at the magnetic field and magnetic field patterns uh, so it's just one of the easiest part i would like you to follow mm, you know uh, we are going to see what makes magnetic field patterns after looking at the magnetic field so first of all let's define a magnetic field a uh, magnetic field has a very simple definition that it is the region or space around a magnet where the magnetic influence is felt. Uh, magnetic influence include attraction and repulsion. So that region around a magnet where the attraction and repulsion is felt is what we are calling it the magnetic field. A uh, magnetic field is represented by the magnetic field lines of force or simply magnetic field lines. Uh, these magnetic field lines are also um, known by certain characteristics. Like what you can see right now here, uh, there is a magnet with North Pole and the South Pole. The uh, magnetic field lines, as you can see, as shown by the arrow, they, they are coming out of the North Pole, then it heads to the South Pole or it heads to the South Pole of another magnet. Now, mm, this magnetic field, which we have said it is the region around a magnet where the magnetic fluid is felt, uh, is stronger near the poles of a magnet and is weaker far away from a magnet. Just like when you are close to a very hot object is when you will feel a, a lot of heat. But when you are far from it is when you will feel less heat. Now, let's look at magnetic fields because we have seen that magnetic field and field patterns are specifically made up of magnetic field lines. Uh, they are lines of force which represents a magnetic field, as we have said. It is these lines that will form magnetic field patterns. Uh, look at this. Mm, so, we are going to look at the direction of magnetic field. Uh, it's a term that we need to define it. Eh? What is the direction of magnetic field? In future, when we shall be talking about electric field, I would also want you to know what is the direction of electric field. But for today, because we are dealing with a magnet, I want us to see what is the direction of a magnetic field. If you are told to define the term direction of a magnetic field, what will you say? The direction of magnetic field at a point is the direction to which a free north pole would move if placed at that uh, point in the field. You know, in the field, mm, there are some forces. There are some forces. You know, maybe there's a magnet in the corner, there's a magnet somewhere in the room. So that particular place is, what is where we are calling it the field. So if you place a magnet in a room, and then it points at a certain direction, for example, it points to where the door is, then that direction where the north pole of that particular magnet has pointed when placed freely at that point is the direction of magnetic field. And that's how we define the direction of magnetic field. Now, these magnetic field lines that makes up the uh, magnetic field pattern has certain characteristics or properties, which I, I want you to follow one by one. Uh, magnetic field lines start from the North Pole and end at the South Pole. This one we had seen using the bar magnet we had seen in, in our previous slide. Um, you can see they move from North Pole and ends at the South Pole. Sometimes they move from North Pole of the same magnet and ends at the South Pole of the same same magnet or they end at the South Pole of a different magnet. Uh, another one they rebel each other sideways and form a closed path as shown above. I will show you See this one. Eh? Uh, they rebel each other sideways and form closed paths as shown. You can see they rebel each other. Meaning, again, another property comes in. They do not intersect each other. In simple terms, they do not cross each other. That's what we need to know. Um, they are closer where the magnetic field is stronger 
and there are wider a path where the magnetic field is weaker you can use the two look at this uh uniform magnetic field meaning the strong all through uh strong field weak field when they are far from each other they are weak when they are uh, close to each other it means their magnetic field in that point or in that in that place is very strong uh magnetic field patterns some of the patterns include we are going to see around seven of them of the bar magnet the horseshoe magnet between two and like poles between two like poles effect of a soft iron ring and rod there's a difference between ring and rod we are going to check on each uh one of them no problem about that mm. a field around a bar magnet you can see how it it, it, it is behaving eh? the magnetic field lines are moving from north pole to the south pole then others are moving from north pole away from the north pole they get to the south pole of another magnet or they just become a stray magnetic field lines uh these ones are coming from nowhere maybe that they're coming from another north pole of a magnet or they're just coming from a stream magnetic field lines and you can see they have used several magnetic fields Wh whenever you are drawing this use at least three don't just plot one in metoka kwa north pole again the south pole na moja imenda if you will fail just use at least three magnetic field lines uh look at this uh, this is a horseshoe magnet uh all of them are moving from north pole to south pole very simple uh we have the um, unlike uh unlike that is north pole and south pole of course they move from north pole to south pole then there are others that comes from south pole but do not i mean north pole but do not end at the south pole they just become a stray as you can see uh now look at these two uh, like poles north pole north pole now because north pole is producing magnetic field lines or a uh, magnetic field lines originate from north pole it also originates from the other north pole therefore they repel each other then it creates a region of um of no influence whereby magnetic field influence is zero we call it a neutral point this point is called a neutral point the one i've labeled x it's called a neutral point simply because the magnetic field lines are repelling each other creating this particular part um and if they are south south then it means magnetic field lines originate from nowhere i mean from a stray magnetic field lines and ends at the south pole also creating a neutral point in the middle there um now from north pole to south pole but through a soft iron ring a soft iron ring is a good conduct uh, sorry is a good uh, magnet magnetic effect that is not a magnet it's a good magnetic if, um, material so uh, the magnetic field lines will pass through the soft iron ring until they get to the south pole of the other magnet. It concentrates the magnetic field lines of force through it. Uh, and because it is a soft magnetic material, you know, at, at point P is where we have space. This point P, we have space there. So it means now that uh, magnetic field lines will pass through the other side. It's where we have the material itself, but they will never pass through point B. Uh, P simply because uh, it's a soft iron thing or a so uh, you know a material that is highly attracted to a magnet mm, now look at this we have a soft iron rod when the magnetic field lines pass through it because it's a soft iron rod all of them will pass through it there are no which will pass outside all of them will be concentrated at this particular point because it's a soft iron rod if you are doing another one maybe magnetic field lines will have passed uh, not all of them will pass through it but because specifically it's a soft, all of them will be concentrated to it. Um, so that's why a soft iron is used in magnetic shielding. Um, mag okay, well first of all, do you know what a magnetic shielding is? A uh, magnetic shielding, maybe there is um, a gadget that do not uh, that, that is being interfered with magnetic field lines. So you simply place a soft iron rod, so it will take all the magnetic field lines. It will, it will never pass to the object or the gadget you want to, to to prevent or to protect so practical applications of magnetic shielding eh? the soft iron rods and rings are used in magnetic shielding where some of uh, uh, some electrical measuring instruments and watches are shielded from and protected from a stray magnetic field lines so we use a soft iron rod mm. yeah so describe how you would shield a magnetic material from a magnetic field describe how you will shield a magnetic material from a magnetic field 
Mm, please, can you try to answer that question? State one application of magnetic shielding. Yes, you can try. Answer that question. You see, it sana. Explain the meaning of the following magnetic field, magnetic field lines of force. You have explained that, so you can try to see if you can answer it. Um, you have been given this. Identify polarities A and B. A and B. Just to look at the direction of the magnetic field lines. Then you will be able to name A and B. State which of the two magnets uh, P and Q is uh, stronger. Explain. Uh, you will explain part B of the question by using the concept that, uh, you know, when they are close, it means the field is stronger and the magnet is stronger. Use that one. Eh? So you just count. Um, this you, you are supposed to give magnetic field patterns of the following. We have A, we have B, we have um, we have C, then we have D. We have D, D uh, and C. You have to think very well so that you can answer that question. Um, now. Uh, I will end this slide by explaining about the earth magnetic field. Mm, you know, uh, when you suspend a magnet, the north pole of the suspended magnet points in the direction of the north pole of the earth, the geographical north pole of the earth. So it means there is uh, something inside the earth that influences the direction of the magnet. Why is that it goes and only settles in a given direction? There must be something else that is, um, you know, influencing it. So let me say this. Eh? Inside the earth, there is a magnet. That is the core of the earth. There is a magnet. What does this uh, magnet do? Uh, this magnet has its north pole at on the south pole. It, this magnet has its north pole in the south pole of the geographical earth. And its south pole is in the north pole of the geographical earth. That's why when you place a magnet, uh, the south pole, which is in the north of the earth, will influence the north pole of the magnet to face the north pole of the earth. Get that clear. So, uh, next thing that we will check uh, in our next slide will be domain theory of magnetism. Thank you. God bless you. Subscribe to my channel and share with other students so that they can too learn physics.